In this dosage calculation problem, it states to treat acute acetaminophen ingestion. A 172-pound patient is to receive acetylcysteine at 300 milligrams per kilogram per day in three equal doses. How many milliliters will the patient receive per dose? To answer the question, our answer will need to be in milliliter per dose. We'll set that as the goal. To begin this pharmacology problem, we'll start with the doctor's orders. The doctor's order for this medication is based on the amount of weight. To determine the amount of medication, we will begin with the patient's weight, shown here as a fraction with a denominator of 1. The weight, however, is in pounds, and the medication is based on the weight in the metric unit for weight of kilograms. So our first step will be to convert from pounds into kilograms. To do so, the conversion fraction needs pounds in the denominator. If we consult a conversion table, we will find there are 2.2 pounds equal to 1 kilogram. Taking these equivalent values, placing 1 in the numerator and the denominator, gives us a conversion fraction with a value of 1. It allows us to cancel out the current unit of pounds since they're common to the numerator and the denominator, giving us a value of 1. We have the weight of the patient in kilogram. To determine the amount of medication then, we'll multiply it by the doctor's order given as 300 milligram per kilogram per day. This allows us to also cancel out the common factor of kilogram since they have a value of 1. We have the medication in milligram per day. Our goal is to convert this into milliliter. To do so, we need to establish a conversion fraction that has milligram in the denominator. If we look at the medication on hand, we see that there are 200 milligram per milliliter. We'll use that relationship then, expressed as a conversion fraction, to convert the final unit from milligram, canceling that common factor out, leaving milliliter per day. One step is left. We need to eliminate day. We'll place day then in our next conversion fraction, and in the problem, it states that this medication should be administered in three equal doses. That means in a day's time, we will administer three doses, placing these equivalent values in our last conversion fraction with one value in the numerator and one in the denominator, gives us a conversion fraction with a value of one, allowing us then to cancel out that common factor of day in the numerator and the denominator, leaving us with units of milliliter per dose, which was our goal. We're left then with multiplication of these fractions for a new fraction, and simplifying the last step, we'll divide numerator by denominator to give us a final value of 39.1 milliliter per dose.